markets are crashing. People are running scared and everybody is selling their Bitcoin. If you are selling your Bitcoin, I don't know what you're doing, but today we are going to be shocked by the news that we have tonight. Now, we will touch base on that because today we're expecting GDP for sterling. Um, actually, we already got that GDP, which pretty much remained at zero. We also have the USD core CPI, the CPI month on month, and the CPI year on year. We also have the USD crude oil inventories and most of all and most importantly out of the entire session and for this last quarter is the FOMC economic projections, the FOMC statement this evening and the Fed interest rate decision tonight plus the conference of course. So obviously we have spoken about this previously on my other videos and if you were part of my community, then you would know that there is an absolutely mega massive opportunity now busy happening for us. We are only going to go up regardless of whether the immediate time frame we are seeing shorts and squeezes down. That is OK. There really is not an issue with that. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara DeKess and thank you for being here with me today once again on the channel. Thank you for being here with me, part of my community. You can see that I'm doing some really rather cool things for you guys. Uh, for you, every single day I'm here blasting videos for you. Well, not every single day. I really am trying to keep up. You can see that I have been more consistent with you. So truly appreciate you being part of my beautiful community. Now, if you want to go ahead and trade with me on Bybit, then you can use my links down in the comments below. I wanted to buy this over here at my opportunity, but I had a very important business deal that I was busy with last night that I had to get through and sign, have a team meeting about it, concluded. So a thumbs up to us and uh, our new business. Uh, that we're about to bring in. But we will talk about this and come and talk about this on some of the other charts a little bit later. But make sure to use my Bybit link down below here. Come and get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus and you can come and make crazy gains like this with me uh, together on the channel. So uh, you can see is that I'm going to go through a number of um, news articles and charts for you. So make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because you, my friend, are not going to want to miss out on a single moment here because there's a lot to share. Today, the cryptocurrency market cap is actually down again, down again. And that's why I started the video out like I did. But yet you still see coins that are pumping 180% in the last 24 hours. You know, things do happen in the space and there is always constant money being made in the space. Now, with us sitting at a $2.58 trillion market cap and down 0.3% over the last 24 hours, we've still seen trading volume increasing to $110 billion. That's massive. Now, Bitcoin, of course, has to have a little bit of a pullback, but I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. Because a lot of people are actually saying that BlackRock, BlackRock are currently selling their Bitcoin. Now, I don't know if you believe that, but that's very bearish and that's very unlikely. And I'll tell you why in a little moment. So stay with me. Okay, ETH is down 7.6% in the last seven days. Uh, Tether is still hovering around the same market cap. BNB down 13.6. Solana 12.8. So the last week, we have literally had double digit bleeding. Now, obviously, if Bitcoin has a 5% and Ethereum has a 7%, they make up for the majority of the market cap, right? They make up for like 1.9 trillion. So that's most of the market cap. So that is very, very powerful. And why I want to show you that is because when I go through some of the information that I have for you today, bearing in mind that gold is still sitting at a $15.65 trillion market cap today, Bitcoin is still at position nine over here. And we are still in the top 10 here in the top assets ranked by market cap, sitting at $105 trillion market cap here. 
very, very powerful and interesting. Only the top 10 interesting are trillion dollar market caps. Isn't that very interesting, right? So there's 10 assets in the world today that are trillion dollar assets. Now, I'm sure there are a few others, but we'll talk about that throughout this video. Okay, let's move on to, so you've seen the news, you've seen the charts, incredible news. Hedge funds are shorting Bitcoin like never before. So check how they have been shorting Bitcoin like absolute crazy, okay? It's time. Let's liquidate them all and retweet to spread the word. Send it. Let's liquidate. So this is the CFTC CME Bitcoin leverage funds net total combined with new record short. So they are shorting massive amounts of Bitcoin at the moment. But why is this actually happening? Well, Let's go and listen to a few videos here. First of all, Chinese TV, uh, if Bitcoin succeeds, we're all going to die. Let's listen here. Well, if Bitcoin will become the uh, ultimate type of a form of the currency been adopted by human society, I can, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen as the worst scenario or yeah. the must scenario. We're all going to die. Come on, man. I mean, really? This dude is saying something like this. But wait a moment. I'm getting to a point. And you're going to see that things like this are FUD so that the banks and the institutions and the funds and all of the gigantic corporations in the world and institutions in the world can grab and buy your Bitcoin. And I'm going to show you that I have proof and evidence that this is busy happening while the media is phoning on your ass. They're sending out fake ass news. Okay. Now I'm not a cons... Well, you can say that I'm a conspiracy theorist. It is a distinct uh, distinguishment between being a conspiracy theorist and a conspiracist. Uh, Let's go and listen to what she has to say. One more area that I hope nation states start paying greater attention to is the rise of cryptocurrency. Because what looks like a, a very interesting and, and somewhat exotic uh, effort to uh, literally mine uh, new coins in order to trade with them has the potential for undermining uh, currencies, for undermining the uh, uh, role of the dollar as the reserve currency, for destabilizing nations, perhaps starting with small ones, but going much larger. So when we think about this new environment in which we find ourselves that we've been discussing for the last uh, some minutes, um, we can't just think about nation states. And then I don't know who Hillary is trying to fool here. OK, but she is talking about printing new coins. Now, I'm pretty confident that Bitcoin only has 21 million coins, right? Oh, I wonder. So I just want to go and share something very, very special with my community because huh, 21 million. And in fact, let's take what's in circulation because we don't know what's happened to the rest of them. OK, but if we actually go and compare it to the US dollar and national debt that the US dollars in 34.8 trillion dollars. So I wonder who's printing and undermining who. So Hillary, you may think that Bitcoin is undermining the US dollar. But when in real fact, not conspiracy, the US dollar is actually undermining human civilization. Okay, human energy, which is what humans have been fooled into to be given dollars, which are printed into complete existence. Okay, where it is limitless in its portfolio. Whereas Bitcoin sits here with a very nice juicy 19,711, 209 Bitcoin. Right now, right here, as I can stand, I can tell you exactly how many dollars, uh, how many Bitcoin they are, rather than how many dollars. I can't even read it. I can't, I can't even give you a solid answer because it keeps going up every single second. Look at this. It's gone up 200,000 in the last three seconds. Okay, so 200,000 is a person's salary over the course of your, in fact, that's a wealthy person's salary. Um, over the course of a year. So I want to just share with you, okay, that this is in fact what Hillary Clinton is saying. So let's go and have a look at and round off 
815, okay? Let's get my calculator. 3481508080. Uh, I'm just going to go 500. Okay, divided by the current Bitcoin that we have, essentially, okay, each Bitcoin on the US debt would save the nation and it would convert into a $1.7 million asset, okay? Bitcoin will absorb all of that debt from the US nation. And in fact, Miss Hillary Clinton, okay, it will save the US nation. Very likely and undoubtedly so. Unlike your cronies that have been printing left, right, and center, destabilizing nations with your currency wars, okay? Claiming to be the big boss. All right. So now while I've had a little bit of a chitty chat to my audience and Miss Hillary Clinton, let's move on from Miss Hillary because the $7 trillion world's largest bank, I, the Bank of China, says that Bitcoin is much better than gold. Are you paying attention? Shout out to Vivek for these posts that I'm going to share with you going forward. Because if we made 500,000 per day, every single day since the Great Pyramids were built, you would have less than half of what the US government has borrowed since June. So I can't tell you on the US debt clock how much it was since June, but maybe Maybe budget showdown. I want to see what does 2028 actually say. Let's see what 2028 says here. Where will we be in 2028? Oh, 46.4 trillion dollars. In other words, you've literally in four years printed 10 trillion dollars of that money into existence. So I don't know about you, but I'm definitely buying me some more Bitcoin. Okay, because there's only a little bit. All right. And the institutions have been gobbling up Bitcoin left, right and center. And I'm going to show you why. And the Chinese bank hasn't even got involved in Bitcoin just yet. So, you know, these are some of the highlights from this because Bitcoin has unique cross-border transfer and payment functions. Bitcoin may benefit from end uh, from the end of the USD rate cycle and the debt crisis in marginal countries. Bitcoin retains the scarcity similar to gold through mathematical consensus while solving its problem of being difficult to divide, difficult to identify, uh, authenticity and inconvenient to carry. Bitcoin isn't like that. Bitcoin can complete all of that. And that's why Bitcoin is more valuable than gold. And I had, you know, I love Mr. Mike Maloney and uh, I really do appreciate Mr. Mike Maloney. But when I heard, I actually heard a video of his yesterday and maybe i can share this with you i just want to go and show you okay i'll actually just share this with you very quickly um let's go and see his page here um videos da, da, da. i think i watched it on world war three how much gold yeah over here i think it was this one one of these two okay i think it was this one actually but Mr. Mike, yeah, it was Mr. Mike Maloney, and he is an incredible gold buyer, and I love his work. I respect his work. I've, I, he actually introduced me into getting into more gold and silver bullion. Him and Mr. Kiyosaki, as um, um, entre entrepreneurs that are very experienced in the space, so I followed their lead, and I have made money from that. So, Mr. Mike Maloney is very correct in the gold and silver theory, but he said that gold will never go to zero against the uh, against Bitcoin. Now, I've shown you that gold has actually, in, since Bitcoin's inception, gold has eroded in value one, probably two million percent in the last 13 years against Bitcoin. So it's very likely that it is going to zero against gold. Probably not zero, he's right, okay? But it's going to go close enough to zero. So the reason I'm saying that is because I actually believe that, um, and I'll show you a chart in a short moment. So make sure to stay tuned with me right to the very end, because I'm getting to a point here. So let's move on from this really juicy, delicious news, because according to plan B, 
Okay. Plan B has said here, his best guess Bitcoin scenario, 24 to 28. Okay. Ernest and Young reckons in 2024, we'll see a $150,000 price. In 2025, we'll see a uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Plan B reckons eight hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin in 2025. In 2026, he reckons a four hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, and 2027 a three hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. 2024, a uh, 2028 a four hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. So, I do like it. This scenario, pink dots would fit um, the power to law flow S two F to the power law model perfectly and would be a bit higher than the six high power law. So look at where the pink dots are actually taking us up to around these levels. Now let's go and have a look at the stock to flow chart because the stock to flow chart are pointing in the same direction. So I somewhat agree here because essentially in 2026 and 2027, we should be seeing us in the bear market. So I do agree on that. And then hence the bottom here in 2027 and the start of the next bull cycle in 2028. And look at the bottom there, that's 400,000. Meaning that you would from this current price of Bitcoin today at um, $67,000, okay, I'd like to go and share with you that $400,000, okay, divided by $67,300 today is still, uh, sorry, I did a mistakey. It's a 5.3x. It's a 5.3x gain. Okay, that's what it is. So 6x gain on your money. And if we have a 6x gain on Bitcoin's market cap, a 6x gain is going to be like 10 trillion dollar, 12 trillion dollar market cap for Bitcoin. I have been telling you guys this on my channel. If you have been part of my channel and watching my videos, my live sessions with me on Monday evenings, you would know that and you would be making money and you would not be getting scared of these silly little blips down in the market. And I'm going to show you why in a moment. Please bear with me still. I'm almost there. Now, 1 billion worth of Bitcoin just moved off of Coinbase. Whales are buying the dip. So here's the one transaction. And here is the other transaction. And guess what? $535 million transfer of Bitcoin, okay, literally cost $194 to do the transaction. That is unheard of, okay? I just wanted to point that out to you. Now, if you are still not convinced after everything that I've shown, $6.3 billion worth of Bitcoin shorts will be liquidated, okay, up at the $74,083 price. Right now, we haven't got to that point. We're actually down a little bit from that price level, and we're about 10,000 under that level. Well, not 10, about 7,000 underneath that level at the moment. But if you're still not convinced, well, then I want you to know that the US petrodollar will be coming to an end soon because Saudi Arabia petrodollar deal has just ended with the US, and Saudi Arabia and the UAE are actually currently adopting Bitcoin and crypto. They have also developed their own CBDC and all of this is happening faster than the US is cackling over how to stronghold onto crypto. Well, they losing the race because Mr. Gary Gensler actually put so many roadblocks and so many hurdles, you know, that it literally just stifled the industry. Um, but we don't care because the rest of the world are going to gobble up what the US haven't. And I don't think that the US will lose here, yeah, guys. That's not what I'm saying. It's finally time to adopt Bitcoin according to MBS. Bitcoin is the king of assets. So if you're still not convinced, well, Mr. Donald Trump says Bitcoin mining may be the last chance of defense against the CBDC in America. We want all the remaining Bitcoin to be made in the USA. In other words, he wants the remaining hash, hashes and blocks to be mined in the USA. Now, the only way that he's going to do that is by enabling, okay, all of the Bitcoin miners to come back in and it must be affordable, must be easy, must be accessible. And I don't think that's going to happen because there are hydro stations across the world that are essentially mining Bitcoin. And if Mr. Donald Trump actually really understood Bitcoin, he'd understand that actually 
it's better that Bitcoin is mined all across the world because that's the whole point of per point of Bitcoin. It's not controlled by one central country or central authority or anything. It's a it's a decentralized monetary system. So as much as I love what he's been doing, he used to hate Bitcoin. You must understand as a person watching this video that these are all just players in the game. And if you are not playing your own game and listening to people like myself, okay, without this video being any financial advice, I'd like to share with you that I just don't know what you will do with your own self because <laughs> we are in for the biggest, biggest ride of our life because right now we are seeing a massive bounce. The bounce is here. When the RSI hits the 30 on the four hour chart, uh, the Bitcoin price has bounced back the last four times. Boom, 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 boom. So even though these are making lower lows and lower highs, it eventually broke out. Okay, so let us go and have a look at the last of what it is that I want to share with you. Um, make sure to tune into my channel. We are almost right here at the end. Now, there was some noise about Apple crashing being the reason that the crypto markets were crashing. Well, I don't think so because even though we had a hard sell there, yesterday we actually had a massive buy, which sent the Apple price um, actually to a new all-time high. So I don't know about you, but Apple continues. Look at that. Apple's bounced very heavily off of this level. And if Apple is going to go continue to go up, why would, why would none of the other cryptos go up? Why would none of the other assets go up? Well, they would. So regardless of whether we're seeing a sell. We had a sell here, it kind of hovered. We had a sell here, it hovered. We had a hard rejection here, drop. We had a hard rejection here, drop all the way down to here. Okay, we had a little one, we had a little one. We're having a little one right now. It doesn't matter. We're still above the ribbon, firstly. Secondly, we're still above my breakout, okay? Which might I say, we've actually retested now once, twice, three times, four times this is actually a very 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 powerful scenario so what i'm going to do for us here very quickly is i actually just want to clean up my chart just ever so slightly for us here so that we can get a very much a more clear picture of what actually has happened in this zone well first of all i'm going to leave these ones because we did break down yeah that was a very strong support level we broke down but we're still on the ribbon and we're still above that one two and then on top of it we have had multiple sessions where we've broken out and isn't that ironic right now that we're essentially retesting that level right there okay we broke out here we're kind of hovering on this level so we're in a tight range here but actually the larger range that we're in is in between my very beautiful yellow boxes, as you can see here. So we bounce around for a little while longer. That's okay, because the longer we bounce sideways, okay, the longer and the harder and the faster the move is essentially going to be to the upside. So if I had to take that and turn it to the upside, um, I'm not gonna i'm not sure how i'm gonna be able to do that for you but let's kind of keep it on average look at where that is i don't even think that's gonna give us no yeah i think that was about that yeah so if we look at that that is a major breakout to the 120 kind of thousand dollar level it is building up energy that's all it's doing and really guys i mean if it drops all the way back down here you know, to 56,000, whoop de do, buy some more, okay? Like you're in the best time to buy. Like, because well, once it breaks out of this level here yeah, and liquidates all of those shorts that are busy sitting here, we're gonna see an absolute explosion right up to the 100 uh, to $103,000 level without a doubt, okay? I've been sharing this and showing you this for some time. So if we zoom a little bit, Interestingly so that I drew my lines like this for you the other day. I did say a large shoulder, a large head, and a large shoulder. Busy happening. Well, guess what? We're busy backtesting this breakout level, which was the previous all-time high. So, breakout, fake out. Breakout, 
fake out, right? Fake out, pull back, break back up. We're retesting this very, very nicely, this line here. So if you're scared right now, you should not be trading crypto. You should not be in crypto, regardless of the sell signal here. I am not in the slightest bit concerned if we even had to come back all the way to this level here and retest this 618. Uh, 786, sorry, at 58k. Guys, this is, this is, I'm giving you conviction here. So I hope you have conviction because once again, it just, we, we're on the right track. And that's all you need to know. Because also Ethereum actually, and look at how this didn't actually pan out my bull flag. And this uh, is what you can see as hardcore manipulation. It just is what it is. And if you want to see that, well, I did say to you in this video, and sorry, in this video here, um, and in on my Twitter page, that we are very likely being currently manipulated. And I said that over here. So that is what it is. And if Ethereum gave us the sell signal already prior Bitcoin, because Bitcoin holds up stronger than Ethereum. So Ethereum gave us the sell signal actually, confirmed it with the breakout out of this triangle. And now we've come all the way to the bottom of the flag here as well. I mean, of the ribbon. We're retesting support. Look at the MACD. Look at, sorry, look at the MACD. Look at the RSI. Look at the the PMI. And I go back to, I go back to this chart here for you. This chart here for you. Because the RSI, the MACD, and the PMO are all in pushing in the same direction. The USD dominant, um, BTC dominance hit my target that I said that it would hit. I said it would hit the sloping trend. It may come up all the way up to here to try and reach for these level, this peak here, that's okay. Now, if you look at the total three, uh, the total two, excuse me, okay? This is interesting, right? Because the total two is actually in a very strong flag, flag, flag uh, pole position. And that's the flag, okay? So I'm gonna leave that alone for now because what I really wanna show you is that this is the bottom of the flag. This is the down sloping trend of the flag. And right now, we actually, we broke out of this a few days ago, like two weeks ago. We broke out with this very strong buy candle and momentum here. We are now just back testing on the support here for the ribbon. Yes, we're underneath the ribbon, but this is probably and very likely fake out just like this was also. So not only that, but here's the head, I mean, the shoulder, the head and the shoulder. So. Let me draw it for you so that you're witnessing what it is that it is that I'm talking about. It doesn't matter if it comes all the way down here. It doesn't buy them all. Okay, because we're about to make absolute life-changing gains. And if you think that that's great, come and let me know. Are you going to become a millionaire or a billionaire this cycle? Or are you going to stay poor? Because huh, uh, Mr. Donald Trump said, we want all of your Bitcoin. Are you mentally prepared for it, guys? I don't know if you are. So the total three market cap also is ironically in a very strong bull flag pennant type pattern. So I want to share with you that right now what it is that I'm witnessing here and you can see that very perfectly is that actually we found support here on the bottom of my purple box one. Okay, we've got support on this upward sloping trend line, support line one, two, three, four, as well, just like crypto, just like Bitcoin. We are also at the bottom of the RSI. The MACD is oversold. The PMO is very oversold since here, actually. Um, and not only that, we hit enough sell resistance. We're probably gonna fake out out of the ribbon and we're gonna have a very strong bounce come over here in this position look at the way that the candles are sucking up the volume here this is total three now this is altcoins i'm buying altcoins like crazy and i hope you are too even though right now isn't altcoin season i'm buying while the markets are bleeding okay while the markets are bleeding i am buying and accumulating as much crypto as i can because you buy on red days you don't buy on green days okay now last two charts i want to share with you is usdd usd dominance i did let you know that we were finding support there okay i did say that this is probably what it would look like essentially that didn't bounce as i thought but that bounce essentially has come in here we're bouncing a little bit but do i think that 
this is going to go anywhere I, I don't think so because look at that level um so that's the resistance level so if it does get above there it's probably going to come and retest the top of the purple box or the white light level here back at 5.5 percent do i think it's going to do that no because right now that's a very strong bear flag that is busy forming here right now at the moment so uh, if that does happen, we've got a very long way down to go on the USDT, which essentially is a final indicator for you on this watching this video that we are preparing ourselves for a crazy bull cycle. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is all the others. This is the crypto total market cap, excluding the top 10. In other words, this is all the altcoins. OK, I think you can see um, like all the altcoins outside of the top 10. Which I think you can see here that we had a very strong double bottom here. Then we had the pump. Okay. Now we had to hit a little bit of resistance at that level because guess what? That's also around the previous highs here. Okay. It's a very strong previous high level in this chart. But guess what? That is also a very nice long cut and handle pattern. A very strong pullback here also flagging flagging it okay this is a fake out because this is actually breaking the support level so for me this is a fake out because the rsi is all the way at the bottom your doesn't mean that the rsi can't continue to go flatline but the macd is kind of bottoming out the pmo is bottoming out this is pro a probable fake out in my personal opinion let me know what you think about this chart down in the comments below but essentially i think we're going to see a very strong bounce off of this level Okay, and I think with that, we would then look at potentially a, a possible double bottom scenario on this support zone. And that would give us a very good energy to raise us back up to this level, capitulate, break out, break out, uh, retest back on the support zone, break up to the top here. That's kind of what I see happening. It's not going to happen overnight. So please don't think that that's what it is that I'm saying to you. Um, but yeah, once again, if you've enjoyed all of this, come check my trades, my profitable trades, BTC, ETH, Casper, R um, RSR. I lost two of my other trades, my say and um, one of my other trades, and that's okay. I'm okay to lose my trades because I manage my risk. And that's all that matters is that some you will lose, some you will make money, but the ones that you're making money with make more than what you're risking because you risk managing. So thank you for being here with me on the Crypto Bliss channel. Once again, I truly hope you appreciated this and enjoyed this. If you did, you know where to find me. We'll see you on the next one. You bless yourself. Take care and have a lovely day. And we will be actually um, in tune tonight with the Federal Reserve Minister. So make sure to stay tuned to my Twitter uh, so that you know what happens during that moment.